makes me. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is show you how you can get used to using the draw scraper. And one of the first things that I would recommend doing is to find a couple old tarnished reed plates and first scrape on part of the reed plate, not a reed, just the, the reed plate itself, and see what kind of a mark you make. And right now I'm scraping on this area. When you get when you get the, the, the draw scraper lined up properly, you get a nice wide ribbon. It's like this one here, that stroke that I just did, I had the draw scraper tilted over at an angle, so I'm only getting part of the blade. I'll try another stroke here and trying to get a little more centered. Okay, now I'm starting to get the feel of it and getting a much broader stroke. There, that's a nice wide stroke right there. Now I'm starting to get the feel of the instrument, how it works with my hand. Then once you get that down, once you get that feel, then you can play around with some scrap reeds and I will scrape on one side of the reed and then on the other side of the reed and leave the middle of the reed for last. So what you're doing is you're breaking those mill marks that go across the reed so they no longer go from one end of the reed to the other and it tends to strengthen the reed if you do it that way. If you dig right in the center of the reed, you're more likely to damage or weaken the reed than if you start on the outside. What you end up, if you start on the edges of the reed, if you think of this as like a reed, if you take some off of this side and then off of that side, it will be, the reed will be slightly bowed, which means it has a sort of a rib in the middle of the reed and it stays stronger. Now the other thing that you can do with the scrap reed plate is to practice looking at how the draw scraper reaches over the rivet and then what the reed feels like when you reach over that rivet and you'll find that the rivet pad on a reed is slightly higher than the reed itself. So when I reach over this rivet and the end of that rivet pad and find the reed through sense of feel and then bring the draw scraper toward me, it will hit that little edge and I know that I've scraped as far as I can scrape on the reed. So that's the next thing to practice is to watch yourself as you reach over that rivet and scrape the reed to tune it and what it feels like to find those edges of the reed through sense of feel. And then once you get used to doing that then you can start doing things like this. For a blow reed, you can reach into the harmonica, find that reed through sense of feel, more so than sight, and tune, drop the pitch of the reed that way. The other thing you can do, if you have a harmonica that has cover plates that are opened up enough in the back. And this is something that I've started doing with the, the harmonicas that I make these days. This one's an older harmonica, slightly beat up. But nevertheless, for the draw reeds, you can also reach in under that cover plate, find the reed, find, and, and drop the pitch of the reed without taking the harmonica apart. So with the combination of the right reed plate clearance 
you can tune, you can drop the pitch of the draw notes and the blow notes with this. Once you get used to the feel of the reeds as you tune. So, that shows you some of the things you can do with this instrument, or with this, this tool, I should call it a tool, to get used to how it works. And that's, that's about all I got to say about that this fine morning. Thanks for listening.